At all costs, avoid clowns. Like politicians, clowns suck the lifeblood out of society. Like pharmaceutical companies, clowns ruthlessly prey upon the vulnerable. Like commercial messages, clowns are manipulative and deceptive. They are as indifferent to anything outside their own petty interests as is a corporate board. They are even more hypocritical than evangelical Christians. Whatever you do, wherever you go, you need to be afraid. Even clowns don't trust clowns. At all costs, avoid them. If you see a clown on the street, pretend that you see nothing. Avoid eye contact and keep your distance. Casually and discreetly move away from the clown as quickly as you can. Fighting to be seen. I first began to realize that I was becoming invisible as I was walking down a sidewalk somewhere near the center of downtown. I observed that people did not even look at me as they passed me by. I had the premonition that cars would no longer stop for me if I stepped off of the sidewalk into the busy street. Not even panhandlers or infants in baby carriages seemed to be aware of me. Nobody smiled. Nobody frowned. When I returned home and looked at myself in the mirror, it seemed to me that my reflection had grown more transparent. This confirmed that the people downtown, when they looked straight at me, could see nothing but the cars and people and buildings that were behind me. The Vincent Van Gogh prints that hung in my room had long prognosticated to me that solidity is an illusion, that true reality is composed mostly of empty space. Now it seemed to me that Van Gogh's prophetic vision was coming true. I put on clown makeup and called the last of the few friends I still kept in contact with. I left voicemail messages explaining to them exactly what was happening to me. But none of them returned my calls. The next time I went downtown, I carried an umbrella and wore an outrageous clown outfit, which was topped by a gigantic Afro-style purple wig. Yet still the people who passed me by would not look at me. I was still invisible, and there was nothing that I could do to be recognized. I walked the streets anonymously, unnoticed and unseen. <laughs>